I'm uh, first of all, we were happy to play this game and and get started in front of the public, in front of the big bright lights, and and I, I appreciate Cal State East Bay the way they play. And, and they're a very well-coached team, a gritty, tough team. You know, they hardly even – I don't think they had a season last year, so they've been waiting, practicing, practicing. And I, I thought they did an excellent job. We knew they were going to be a difficult team because they run their stuff, they play good physical defense. And I was really curious to see how we were going to react to that. And I think, well, well, we saw it. Not very well for a while, but that's because of them. And that's what uh, well-coached teams are going to do to you. They're going to get you – on your heels, and I think that's what we saw tonight. But we found a way to right the ship and get going with some different lineups. Tim, uh, just personally, how, I know this is 21st year for you, and you came running the season run for East Carolina State. I mean, jitters still, right? Yeah, no. Well, no jitters, no jitters. Uh, just had to remember a couple of the rules, like when I can call timeout, because a couple of the rules have changed. Tony Padilla was out there. He's a veteran guy. Been in a lot of NCAA tournaments, and we were joking around because uh, uh, I tried to call a timeout once and I couldn't. And um, and he's like, "Hey, you got to brush up on the rules, coach. Man, you've only been out in a couple of years." So, but it it was uh, in terms of 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 what's fun is you know the game is different. It's, it feels a little slower actually. You know, uh, after being out, and um, I think that. We could have predict early, even from our practices, that this was going to be closer than we prefer. But uh, it's a good experience to go through, and that's why that's why we play them. Okay, that answers my second question. Um, how about your staff in terms of preparation? You really have to mention that you do really nice show. We know, you know football teams are the team. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, we had a scrimmage with Santa Barbara, which was a good experience for us to go through. We went on the road and traveled, and then we had the home game. But the home game's different because it's actual game. I mean, the lights are on. There's fans out there. There's a whole different um, uh, feeling to that. And, and so, uh, you know, as, as we look and, and we go through what we try and do and how we try and do things, um, we're certainly going to try to be a very prepared team. And tonight, quite frankly, it was funny because one thing we haven't is some of the way they handled ball screen offense, our ball screen offense, where something we've only practiced a little bit because it's not something we do. So this was our most reps. And it really took us a long time to, to get aggressive and get downhill and find out how we were going to play that way. And I think you saw that when we were finally able to open up a lead in the second half. But it took a while. But that's why you play them. Yes, sir. Yep. Where it was the intent to like confuse the East Bay offense because I know they, they set them up a lot of um, contested three point shots. Yeah, so one three one is what we play. It kind of looks funky though, uh, and and without question, they had a good rhythm going. And so for us, uh, we wanted to disrupt that as much as we could. And we've got some good length, and it's a, a defense that I've played on and off throughout the years. And it's a little bit different. It's not a natural uh, one three one. We stack our big guys, and and so I think it can be effective. Uh, and I thought the guys did a pretty good job of, of executing it. Uh, I thought we were pretty good in our scrimmage, too. And so that's something I think that we can look forward to seeing more of. And, but, you know, anytime you uh, do something that's a little bit different, kind of like their ball screen defense and our one three one, the more teams that see it, the more often you see it, the better teams get at it. So we've got to be better and better. I just – I think if there's anything disappointing me tonight, there was some execution stuff in early in the second half. And then our big guy, and it was really because we were trying to play offense through our big guys, our big guys did not have a productive night. And that's something I need to look at. Where are we getting them the ball? How are we getting them the ball? And how can we be better with their production? Go ahead. Speaking of, um, with Sean Robinson and Ibrahim Diallo, um, are you guys going to try to force the offense through them, or is it more through the flow of the game? Because I know that the big guys are getting better teams a lot off the Yeah, game. yeah. And, 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 that's, and that's part of the deal, right? Um, Ibrahim is so big, he's going to command attention. It, when you're big, you, you feel like you can go in there as a little guy and, and dig it out of there and, and, and cause uh, problems from him. And what we do is got to be able to get more space. But if we only go four for 27 from three, they're, not, they're going to get in there and dig it out. we got to help him out making some of those open shots. Uh, Tibet tonight didn't make open shots. Trey Smith didn't make open shots. Uh, maybe Al did a couple, but, but really we did not shoot well. Those things go hand in hand. You, you, there's no way to game plan if you can't, you know, stretch the defense out. There's nothing you can do to protect that guy, and we've got to protect him. Any more questions? Thank you very much.